Welcome to a duel that I think would be very interesting to see. We're, today we're going to be doing the standard machine with underpowered cards, just to show that it's possible to beat it. So far, things don't be... Oh, wow. Yeah, other than that lucky uh, placement, it just doesn't look like I would have won that, would it? All of his monsters are about as powerful as Darkfire Soldier 2, 1700 attack points, I believe. 1500's the weakest, rarely used. 1550 is more common, 1600 enough is very common. Traps like Infinite Dismissal, which costs nothing to put in your deck, are extremely useful. With just a trap or two that get, allows you to get a powerful monster on the field, you can easily take out the standard blue machine like this. He does, I believe he does have like a water monster or two. I think, I'm not sure. But if he does, I've certainly never seen him use it that often. Well, scratch that, he does have one, but you have to sacrifice a monster in order to use it. Darkness approaches, how beautiful a card are you? Very. This standard rule machine is actually kind of tough. Talons of Cheryl Lane, one of my favorite cards. It's a six-star monster, which means you can summon this with just one sacrifice. It costs a lot to use, but it's worth it. Yeah, th th this is, these are the kind of cards that the standard duel machine uses. You, you won't even be- I can't even begin to imagine why they made the expert duel machine use cards that cost like 300 or more. But yeah, I suppose that was a pretty interesting start to a video. Showing me owning the standard duel machine. There's some place we really need to be though. Some place special. Some place that went on strike at one point. Some place that- that strike thing that I'm talking about wasn't actually in real life. That would have been kind of bad otherwise. Hmm. Oh, sweet Canada. Da -da! Dude. You can find a ton of dinosaur fossils here. I'm hoping for a big discovery, eh? Then I'll be famous. Are you a duelist too? No. Speaking of, actually, let's look at my deck for a second. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can handle these guys, can I? Let's find out. Oh, you're not a duelist, okay. This m this might get bad fast. Invigoration. I don't think I want to deal with invigoration. Let's see, barrel rock. That would have hurt me bad if I attacked. Rock Ogre Grotto. Hmm. The reason I'm not sure whether I can handle these guys is what? Is because, like, Baby Dragon's probably the strongest monster in my deck. At least that can be summoned outright. And the question is whether or not he'll survive. If I can get a Time Wither on the field, I'll be set, but without it, I don't have a whole lot of, I can do. This guy, I believe, it was either- it was one of these two duelists outside. One of them has a wind monster called, like, Sunray or whatever. Yep, 
you know, I really should start putting cards like Cyber Drive back in my deck, because they're getting powered up in these fields. Different Dimension Dragon, how I love you. Permanent effect! In the graveyard, I get back to the field. Yeah, this is how a different profession works. If he's in the graveyard at the start of your own turn, he automatically gets resurrected, just like Vampire Lord. Incredibly useful, especially since if something happens, I can easily get my points and stuff back. Speaking of points stuff back, Soul of the Pure, one of the best healing cards in the game. And Raigeki, one of my favorite um, offensive spells. They just wipe everything out. Of course. These field cards, these field bonuses are kind of annoying at times. I really should have saved Regeki. I mean, not, oh wow, nice. Over a millennia, I get to destroy rocks like so. And potentially lose my time wizard. <coughs> oh wow! I sneezed. I think I can finish this guy off like this. Like this. I'm, not, I'm seeing things. We Slifer. The permanent annoying dragon. <laughs> that 12 star monster, and that's a lot of stars actually. Ooh, Dissolver Rock. And that thing actually sucks. Alright, everyone, I'm back. I finished um, the other duel off screen. For the most part, he had kind of just wind monsters and, and occasionally a Shadow or Earth. An earthquake is Rashef's resurrection causing the tremors. Whatever it is, stay on your toes, Josh and Joey. Oh yeah, I've been doing quite a few people, so my, le my level went up quite a bit. Level 161, by the way. What are you th Hey, we're not a chump. Yeah, we came out to see you. Uh, you know, I actually kind of think that I might lose to Rex if I'm not careful. Okay, so I suppose this time things will be a little different. I won't be losing so much. I swear to god, the only reason I've been losing is all because of a bunch of bullcrap, such as... And that. Or well, at least things are turning out for the better. Acid Throp Hole. Me having a different opinion. And me about to beat up Rex. Swear to God, what's up with him and it isn't Fairy Dragon? I know you did not just do that. C 
Fantasy, I called it, never happened. Pictures where it never happened. Sword Arm Dragon. Hmm. That's a weak card. Oh, yeah, I win. Of course I win. You want to learn how to strengthen your deck so you came here because it's supposed to be a secret? Well, yeah, your, your deck. What possible secret could you have possibly heard about being in Canada? Oh look, it's a person. Dragons. Aren't these supposed to be dinosaurs though? That might actually be bad. Heavy storm. Ouch, I really don't want to be hit by that. Okay then, how do, let's see how you like this. Oh, powered up, how scary. How you like me now, Guardian, huh? Who's, the, who's your daddy, Guardian? Who's your daddy now? Different dimension! The place where only I can be a daddy of some person in a video game that doesn't really exist. Jeez, aren't I gonna get any other monsters soon? Like, I should really rebuild this deck because I'm getting nothing. Just a precaution. Nothing, not a big deal. Nope. Not a. With the eight spin. Is it me, or are these Millennium Guardians weaker than most of the duels in the game? It really seems like that because, well, Rex, for example, romped me. But this guy is just losing, for lack of better words. He keeps also destroying a monster that'll keep coming back anyway. Why he decides to do that is way beyond my words of comprehension. I like this monster. It just ends it right there. 1,000 diamond, how nice. And a cracked card. Oh, look, she gives me... Ooh. Hi, Merrick! I like how you suddenly change the conversation immediately. You know, I'm running out of things to say. Basically, I'm just playing through the game, exercising my rights by making a longer video than normal, and checking the 
this place. Anything interesting? Anything at all? Oh, yeah, this thing for sure. Well, I haven't really found anything. <coughs> Except for a really bad cough. I want one of those. I ca I'm kind of... I kind of want to buy another one, but I shouldn't. Hmm. There's really nothing else that's... Ooh, let's buy one of these. I wonder, is there, is there a Dark Eyes Illusionist down here? Is there... No, there's not. Mushroom Man. And a special card that I probably will never actually use. But I'm gonna buy it anyway. Maybe not now. Maybe sometime later. But I will buy it. There's another card that I want to save my money for if it ever shows up in the shop. Wait, did I heal? Yes, I did. Hmm. Oh my god. What happened? Where did all that black on the top, left, right, and bottom come from? And the Galapagos! I'm gonna pull a Houdini on you. Da, da, da. I can hear the sea raging. It's as short and as if nature is out of balance. Can you not hear it? Can you not hear the pain of the ocean? I was raised on the high seas, so I can understand when all is not right. The waters are crying. But about what? Actually... What's going on? Reshef the dark being. Hard to believe. The tides have been far from normal. If anything has to do with this mystery, go deeper into the island. You may find something. Okay then. We'll find something alright, but looks like looks like we found Weevil. Yeah yeah. I yo yo. Weevil. The gangster, yo yo yo. This island is a treasure trove of insects. Yo. Here's something that you may or may not have known. Weevil is just like mine in terms of being easy to take down. All you gotta do is that dump all of your cards, fill it with a bunch of fire monsters. Add any extra cards that you want, such as Ancient Lamb, one of the best cards in the game. And voila! You have a new deck that can officially screw Weevil over, despite the scenario. Yo, 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 you middle maggot! You must have the brand of a loud to challenge a former champ. Prepare for my bow smashing there, yo! <laughs> Yo, man, it's my turn. I like how Weevil suddenly the gangster. Liza Kaninama! I probably should g give a warning that while Weevil does use mostly forest monsters, he does have the occasional fire or wind element. Other than that, they're gonna be essentially just forest monsters. In other words, Mai would never be able to beat Weevil. Oh wait, yeah, no, there is a few Earth monsters, I take it back. For the most part, though, his deck consists primarily of the, of the Forest Element. The only problem is actually drawing one of my cards. 
Because this is actually starting to go down s south. I mean, what's the point of building a deck like this if you can never draw the cards? We should probably go get some more f earth monsters. Er, for ah, fire monsters. That would definitely save me. I'll stop for one more turn. And I regret stalling for one more turn. Boom! So yeah, once you get fire monsters, the rest of the duel will pretty much be like this. These monsters will pretty much just be... 80% of the time, unable to stop you. Actually, make that 70, because he has three separate elements that he doesn't use that often. But regardless, are just separate elements anyway. Weevil, on the, in this case, you can only duel once. Mako, on the other hand, you can duel an infinite amount of times. Mako is, is just the water duelist. Which means that a bunch of electricity will put, will put him down for good. You have to remember that he does have a, a couple fiend monsters, a couple of earth monsters, which actually will drown your entire field, and I think he may or may not have a, a, an electric monster. Hooray for overpowered guards! Weevil is out of yo er gold life points. Ah! I keep trying to do my gangsta thing. That was only a fluke. I can't go for our insects in this area. I think I'll go to China next. So yeah. Mako on the other hand is actually very tough and there's quite a few things you have to keep in mind when dueling them. Alright. When it comes to building a new deck to deal with Mako, it's important to remember that he is, um, no matter what other elements he may or may not have, he is still primarily a water duelist. So the bulk of your cards, it's important to, that you make as many of them as possible electric. It'll counter his primary force, but he does have some el other um, summons that you need to watch out for. So the first thing you need to do is to fill your force with nothing but electricity. Which, sadly, I don't have a whole lot of. Now, if this ends up being your the scenario here, what you're going to want to focus on next is this, um, um, is the other type of monster that will kind of destroy you. Mako does have some fiend element monsters, so you're going to want to keep some light monsters in your deck ju just to deal with those monsters. Next, the next thing to focus on is cards like Ancient Lamp. If your duel level is high enough to use cards like this, it will be a great asset. The, other, the only other element that Mako has is Earth, but he usually always activates the effect making that element kind of moot. Which means the card is on the, the Beast King of Swamps, and that will destroy everything on both fields. So what you want is like a way to keep your constant attack force up. Because honestly, if you don't have that many electrics, you, you better hope to God that you have an, a backup plan. The backup plan in this case is get as many monsters as you can onto the field. If anything, try to play to his advantages. His monsters may be powerful, but that doesn't mean yours shouldn't be either. Go for monsters that can power up on the sea element if possible. And avoid fire and machine monsters at all costs. Cards like Nightmare Penguin would be in theory good if you didn't risk powering up Mako's monsters as well. Cards like Petite Moth, a very very low cost monster that if you can keep it alive on the field long enough, it'll become powerful enough to wipe out Mako. Final Destiny is always a plus. Mako tends to screw you over if you can't ma keep any of your decent monsters on the field. 
it'll help you immensely if you um if you're kind of screwed and you need to reset the field. Even it out, you know. Cards like Back in the Darkness will get rid of any monsters that you can't seem to destroy. Darkness approaches, if you have an effect or two, can help. I don't remember if I have anything, but I need an extra card, so I'm gonna throw in one or two. Same thing with Thousand Eyes Idol. I need, you need, you're gonna run out of deck capacity, guaranteed. So you want to fill up your deck. Slifer. It's all, no matter who you duel, except for maybe Pe um, Pegasus and Reshef, it's all over if you get this on the field. These, this card will pretty much buy you some time. And one of these will pretty much help you um, get the gist of what's going to happen if you're not sure. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take advantage of my high level and start stuffing my deck with high cost cards. As you can see here, I kind of ran out of space. So this is what very low cost cards are for. You'd be surprised what you can do with, that, with cards like that. Obviously, that's not how I would like to finish a deck, but it'll get the job done. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna do a make a once on screen, and then I'll finish them off a few times off screen. You only need to see how I do is once to really get the idea. However, he can get extremely lucky. Mako takes this seriously. There's only like maybe one occasion where he will not duel you. Okay. At the starting of this duel, the first thing you're gonna notice is that Mako, like many other duelists, will ha start with their own field advantage. Now, since I don't, ha the only monster I have is Petite Moth. So here's a special tip that will help you keep it alive. The AI will always attack things in order, from left to right, on your side. So instead of setting Petite Moth on the left, set him on the r at least one panel to the right, at least, two to be on the safe side, and just leave it in defense. Alright, with my trap, leaving it in mobile, I have two things I can do this turn. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Beck into Darkness to get rid of his monster. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stall for time. Remember that rule where he will attack monsters on the left to, to right, depending on which one's face down and then which ones aren't. Kind of like their own set of order of operations map-wise. Because of that, he's likely going to attack a La La Leon. Now, the thing is, it does not matter who attacks it. We're all like, I can care less if it's a Fiend monster. Sure, I'll lose one of my primary attackers, but it means that I'll gain another one in a couple more turns. And, of course, he usually has water monsters, so he'll end up destroying his own monsters. Cocoon of Evolution is probably my favorite three-star monster. It costs 255 to put in the deck, which is actually really good. Things of 2000 normally would cost 319. Cocoon of Evolution's an exception. And now, here is where we utterly raped Mako. If you remember from the Weevil duel, I'm basically doing what we Weevil did to me, except he automatically started with Great Moth. The perfectly ultimate Great Moth will just completely destroy anybody. At 3500 a pop or more, that's really nothing to laugh at. Yeah, since you can duel Mako multiple times, he won't give you as many dominoes, and he'll only give you one point. 
But that just goes to show that he's willing to deal you as many times as, as you want. Excellent duel, but next time you won't win so easily. Uh-huh. Excellent duel. And that's the one supposed to do. Yeah, sure, Mako. Sure. Hi, Mako's, um, famed type monster. Excellent duel. Next time you won't win so easily. Sure, Mako, sure. Ooh. Ah. You know, for someone who says that he, I won't win so easily next time, I'm sure beating him a lot, aren't I? You know, I've been wondering... How long would it take me to get a card like this? Normally I would have gotten it extremely early, or at least the first time I've ever played this game. This is one of my most used cards. Mainly because it gave me a field advantage whenever I got it on the field. You know, field advantages are probably one of the best things the game ever had. Although, it's usually used against you, making duels incredibly difficult. You'd think that Mako would be getting tired of me beating him. But yeah, he definitely does not turn down a challenge, though. I think I'll I think I'll use this as a stopping point and I'll start out another video in a bit.